Do you need to get better at putting? Most of us do. Stay tuned and we'll talk about an item that could just help you. Welcome back to the Golf Shop, Jim McClary, Most Water Certified Club Maker, Club Fitter, where this time we're just going to talk about putting and some of the things that you can do in order to help yourself score low. Now, Ken, who sent me this item to test, has also made previous tools in the past. One of which I own is the, it's the shaft repair tool. And I got number one. All right, or number two, because he's got number one, I've got number two. Use this thing for well over 10 years and it has yet to fail me. And so he's not making junk. So one day he calls me and says, I think I got this putting tool. In fact, I was on my lawnmower when he called. And he says, I got this putting tool. And I said, oh really, a putting tool to like fix putters or to fix putting? He goes, to fix putting. He and I have some of the same you know, desires in, in putting and wedges that we really, you know, we really enjoy making, having people make better strikes. So he sends me this thing. He says, take a look at it. Tell me what you think, because I will tell him if it sucks. Well, it doesn't. And let me show you what it is. It's called the putting pal, All right? The putting pal. It's a milled piece of plastic like material. This is the one I was testing and it looks like this. All right, and what happens here is you clip it onto your putter. I've just grabbed a putter. This is the one I don't use, but I'm just going to show it for demonstration purposes. You hear that? Clips right on. Now, when you go to clip this thing on, you want to make sure that the holes are lined up, right? They're up towards the grip. So you place it on, you hear it click. All right, then what you do is you set this guy perpendicular, perpendicular to the face. So see how it looking nice and flat? All right. Then you go to Lowe's, Home Depot, or even wherever your local uh, home improvement store is, and buy you some of these fiberglass, you know, uh, rods. And you put them in the holes. And you put them in the holes just like this. Now you could have done that before, I guess. So what you have is something that looks a lot like this. So it's on it's two rods facing up here. Then what you do is you take the rods and you put them under your arms and you and you hold it under your arms. Now what that does is that locks you in place. All right, locks you in place. Now what does that do? Well, when you get here that means you, you're just rocking, you're rocking the shoulders, right? So when I, when I teach people, when you see this, when I teach people, you, you putt with the shoulders down to the arms and it's a triangle. So you're just moving the triangle, right? That, so you're putting with big muscles, not fast twitch, not little muscles, but the big muscles. So you're sitting up here like this, right? And then when you get down here, into the putting position, you can you can just feel it. Now, what's going to happen initially is it's going to feel absolutely foreign. All right, absolutely foreign because chances are you're probably not in that right position to use these. All right, or you're not. And what you have to do is a lot. You know, give yourself 20 putts and allow that rocking motion. To really get in, really get ingrained in your swing, and you'll be surprised how the putter is just riding along instead of trying to control it. Now you have it in line for you. Now here, when I'm doing my putter fittings, I tend to give a few lessons because I am a certified instructor. I'm going to show you how we do that, and then how this can help you. All right, what I like to call this is the ladder drill. And what it helps people is with some timing, touch, making sure everything's aligned. And with this guy, it should help us out. So what I like to do is get really close to the cup, and I set about four or five balls only about a foot apart. And what you do is you just rock. Step back to the next one. Rock. Step back to the next one. 
rock, step back to the next one, rock, step back to the next one, and rock. There you go. And you can go as far as you want and, and go as, and in many directions as you want. But the idea here is that it keeps you all in this sink right here, right? And it keeps this going. And you'd be surprised how easy that is. Now, you know, let's say you're one of those guys that has to, that has a medical issue and you have to stand open, right? That's okay if you stand open. But the face, you know, the, the, the item here, the putting pal, can turn in order to stay, in order to keep the club parallel so that you can make sure that you're swinging on the target line versus doing one of those which is something that we've all done, right? So, so for something, you know, we're getting close to Christmas, you might want to check out the Putting Pal. All right, so you saw the ladder drill. The ladder drill is a very, very good drill, whether you're using this guy or not, but when they're in concert, it becomes a really useful item to train muscle memory, right? To train the muscle memory. And it, and it works, right? That's the idea is that you, the first 20 times when you go to putt this thing, it's going to feel really foreign because chances are you weren't doing it right the first time. This will get you in line. And then basically it becomes an effortless, you know, rocking motion. And that's really what you're looking for because these are the muscles that are going to still be working well at the end of the round as they are at the beginning of the round. It takes that dreaded flip out. That's really, that's some of the worst ones, right? The, the dreaded flip. It's going to take that out. I was just talking to Ken, who's the designer of the Putting Pal. Somebody else that he has been, you know, let use it and get familiar with it, has came up with another idea that I think is definitely worth mentioning. I'm going to show you, and we're going to go over this because I don't know if we have to change the name from Putting Pal to basically Short Game Pal or not. But so if you take the Putting Pal and you put it on a wedge, right? You put it on a wedge. There you go, I got it on a wedge. I got a brand spanking new wedge from Callaway. And what you do is you tilt, instead of being straight on with it, you tilt it a little bit forward, right? Just a little bit forward. And then what you can do is you get your hand underneath of it and you hold the, you hold it just the same and the, and the club or the, the rod is going to rest against your side and it's all for the the chipping swing right all for the chipping swing so you come back and you turn and then that way you know if that rod hits you or jams you that you know that you didn't make your turn so you can come back and you come through now this is just for short game stuff right and you can get through smaller shots but you always you're always wanting to rotate with the shoulders so it, another another helpful tool in the short game you know, it, with using the drill that I'm showing you, using the, the two rods so that you're only putting with the triangle, all right? You're only putting with the triangle, and that's so you're moving the big muscles, which is really what you want to do. You should, you know, develop what you call consistent stroke, one with the feel that you should have, and you'd be able to get the ball closer to the hole. So just letting you know the differences that you can use with the putting pal. Now! And talking with the Ken, I told him it would be a good idea. Since we're in that Christmas holiday mode, we're going to give one away. All right, I'm going to give one away. So I'm going to give this very one right here. I'm going to give this one away. So tell me, so what do you got to do to win one of these in the Christmas time frame? Well, you got to be subscribed. You got to be subscribed to the McGolf channel. I want you to go to puttingpalgolf.com. Puttingpalgolf.com. And just take a look and look at what they've got set up over there. Be subscribed, really, be subscribed, and go check out puttingpal or puttingpalgolf.com. It comes in a clamshell just like this, so it could make for a really good Christmas present. It is that time of year, right? It's a, you know, it's simple, it's portable, it gets you in there, and, you know, because when I got it, I fought it as well, you know. Just everything I'm telling you is from personal experience. And now what you do is you get to roll, the ball rolls better for me. I'm much better doing it. Now, I'm not taking this to the course because I have this whole indoor studio thing going on. However, you could, and that's the beauty of all this. So if you get a chance, 
take a look at puttingpal.com and order you one. So try not to be an infomercial, but if you want to do better at putting and you want something simple to help you out, then give this a shot. I'm sure Ken would be more than happy to answer any questions that you had. Just go to the website and ask away. And again, let's see your scores go low.